What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel or if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Mary and this is my Rottweiler, Mr. Capitan, if you are new to this channel. In today's video, I am going to be answering a question that you guys have always been asking me. How much I purchased Capitan for or how much I spend on him monthly. So I am going to start with puppy and then I will let you guys know how much I monthly spend on him. If you are new to this channel, it would mean the world to me if you hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Follow us on all socials. Capitan does have his own Instagram um, and he's pretty active on it. So if you want to see more of him, go ahead and give him a follow. So I want to start off from the very beginning, but even before thinking about getting a Rottweiler, you either need to double check with like if you're renting or if you own a house. So if you are renting, I'm sure you're going to have to ask your managers if it is okay to actually have a Rottweiler in the place you stay. And then I'm sure that's going to be a little bit more extra added to your rent bill because having a dog, they usually don't let that happen for free, I'm sure. And then if you are a homeowner, homeowner's insurance, uh, you need to let them know that you have a dog in case anything happens. I'm sure some people don't think about that. Sometimes some home, some homeowner insurances don't accept the Rottweilers mainly because they're Rottweilers and they are judgy. I always think it's important to buy all the puppy supplies before you get the puppy. Um, that way, you know, you can get home right away and settle in. You don't want to be taking out a brand new puppy anyways because of Parvo. And also you'll be like extremely excited and definitely forget something. So when before I brought Capitan home, I think I took me like a month to gather everything because I mean, this was like six years ago, but puppy supplies, they, they add up. So when you think about it, dog bed, collar, a crate, bones, bowls, it adds up and you know I was thinking it'd probably be like around $300 but now these days it's probably going to be around $500. It depends on where you're going. Some people like to go to Petco or PetSmart so they go to doggy boutiques where you are going to get higher quality product but it's going to be really expensive because it's a doggy boutique. It's likely going to be supporting like a small business so I do love to go to a doggy boutique but adds up but they have really good quality so i always recommend getting all your puppy supplies i will do a video here soon of all the things you should get your rottweiler puppy before actually getting your rottweiler now you have all your stuff you know that your home is going to be okay to have a rottweiler there it's time to actually purchase it so most breeders are going to want to have a hundred dollar down payment because it's a good breeder and people probably want puppies really quick and you gotta make a deposit so you, you could actually get one. So you're gonna make a deposit and that's probably most likely gonna be non-refundable whether you decide not to get it at the end. I recently did a poll asking all my Rottweiler friends on Capitan's Instagram how much it costs them to own one Rottweiler per month and then I also asked them um, how much they purchased their Rottweiler for. And most of them were between like the two to three thousands and um, some did have AKC, which is, you know, the average rate I've seen up to like 5,000 and that's just probably because it has really good like show line breeds in it. You guys would be very, very, very shocked on how much I spent for this guy. <laughs> uh, let's just say. I got a real good deal. And at the end of the video, I will let you guys know. A Rottweiler puppy these days are going to be between two to three thousand, and most likely the breeder will want a down payment. Now that you have spent thousands of dollars on buying your Rottweiler puppy, it is time to spend more money and go get a puppy care package. Your puppy is going to need a bunch of shots so they don't get parvo. Um, I believe there's like a rabies shot. It's about like six different shots that they're going to need between when you get them and when they're one years old. Uh, you're going to need to get them shots so obviously they don't get sick and then also you're probably going to want to enroll them, well you should, in puppy classes and most 
likely every puppy trainer wants to see reference that you got shots so not other dogs won't get sick. Making sure you get all their shots is super important and yeah, I don't know where you're at in the world, but California vets are extremely expensive and I did some research and tried to go back on my puppy bills and I would say that I did like a, pu a puppy package deal and that was probably around $600. Another thing you need to think about is if you are going to plan on getting your dog fixed and what age you're going to do that. For Capitan, I did wait a year and a half. Since he was a little bit older, bigger developed, that surgery I think was like $800, but that was within him being a year and a half. Some people like to get them fixed as a puppy, and some people don't like to get their dogs fixed at all. So sometimes you can get them fixed as a puppy pretty cheap if you just go to like a in and out clinic for two to $300 just because obviously they really want to push desexting dogs because we have so many dogs in the pound right now so yeah you could probably get that for a good deal if you look around but if you do wait um, for when they're bigger it is going to cost more like I mentioned before puppy training is extremely important especially with Rottweilers and I priced it on the internet and there's a lot of different ranges. The cheapest I believe I found was like a monthly package for $200 and that's like once a week or you can go like $3,000 a month and that's like top end training just depending on what you plan to do but having a big dog I always recommend training um, so yeah add that one to the bill as well. Something I stress on all the time is pet insurance. I was not really a big believer or like maybe I wasn't a believer because my parents never did it for my dogs or maybe it wasn't a thing back in the day. But oh my gosh, I will tell anybody that has a dog to get pet insurance. At first I really didn't understand it, but like, wow. Um, I do have him fully covered with Nationwide and I believe it is $80 a month, but he has like the top tier. There are a bunch of different tiers when it comes to insurance. I know you can, I think nationwide the cheapest is probably like $45, but it really doesn't cover that much. So if you are looking into getting insurances, just look at what the best deal is. So for Cappy, he's fully insured, which means when I go into the vet anytime, he mostly will be covered. Emergency room, I did run like a $2,000 emergency bill and I couldn't believe it when I saw the check back for the 2000 exactly back because that's why I got insurance. I just recommend it. <laughs> kind of seems crazy to have insurance for your dog, right? But accidents happen. So I'm just saying it. I told you now, just get it. As I said earlier, I asked on Cabby 10's Instagram for my friends that own Rottweilers to let me know uh, how much money they spend monthly on one Rottweiler. And everybody like pretty much came up with the same number that I did. Um, so I will break it down for you. Now, some of this might be a little bit different, especially like the food area because some people do raw, some people do higher kibble. Everybody's a little bit different in that category. So just remember that, but this is just my personal breakdown of how much I spend on him a month. We're going to start off with the dog kibble because you guys know I do feed him dry kibble, the Pure Vita, which is definitely a higher end food pound bag, I believe, and this will last me one month is $80. And then I also buy him extra food to cook, like vegetables and meat and I add that to his kibble. So that was about $50. He also gets a joint supplement and like a big tub will last me about like three months and it's I think like $50 or $80. So I would say like $30. The only thing I just don't do is his nails. So he has to go to the vet for that. And my insurance doesn't cover that unless he's getting seen for other things. So that is 
$25. His nationwide pet insurance monthly, $80. I also do like to buy him bully sticks. I buy a big amount on Amazon, and those are like $130, but because I have the other dogs and they'll eat it as well, but I'll say like $40 of bully sticks he goes through. And bully sticks are so expensive because these are like real good rawhide ones. They're not fake ones that are bad for him to digest. Flea medicine, I do buy like a big pack of that typically. So I get more value for my money. But I'm guessing one pill is about $40. You guys don't bathe your dogs at home because you have a tub or whatnot. You can always do self-wash, which is pretty cheap. I think you can do like self-washing your dog for 20 bucks. Or you can go to the groomer, and I'm sure that's like, I don't know, a hundred bucks. That's why I love Rottweilers with their short hair. You don't really have to worry about that. But yeah, so at the end, I did all my math, and it rounded up to $400, which is kind of crazy to think. <laughs> but if you want to do it the right way, dogs are a lot of money, and... Not only are they a lot of money, they are a lot of time as well. So, yeah, there's a lot more when it comes to getting a Rottweiler if you are thinking about getting one. Don't let this discourage you, like all the love and just joy he brings to me is not worth any amount of money. So, he is completely worth it. Um, but yeah, just know that if you're gonna do it the right way, let them live a healthy, happy life, it's, it's gonna cost you. <laughs> um, but my number one thing I really wanna stress is the pet insurance. It's been such a, a big save for us over here. Hopefully this video was helpful if you are thinking about getting a Rottweiler or have a puppy now, and kinda gives you an idea what to expect. It's not cheap, but like I said before, 100% worth it. Um, if you stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching. If you could subscribe if you're new, follow Cappy10. Comment down below more videos you would like to see, any more questions, all that good stuff. I'm excited to be back. Cappy10's excited to be back. He's just, you know, chilling like he always is. I will see you guys in the next video.